All right, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Crypto, Coffee and Lo-Fi. Just a quick episode here going over Bitcoin, Ethereum and then a few alts that I'm currently in. So recapping what I went over in the last episode, we're obviously in a bull trend. There's no, there's been no uh, break in structure on the higher time frame. So there's no reason to assume that the higher time frames go on a trend. Trying to catch the top is just not a smart idea. Um, if we're looking for an obvious target, we just we should look at the previous distribution or the previous levels of resistance. So we swept out these equal highs here, looking for the most obvious lows responsible for taking those highs. That's this level. Since the big breakdown, we haven't retested it. So if we were to get a decent sized retrace, I'm not saying we will, but if we were, the most obvious place for that to start would be the previous level of distribution being this low right here. So if you're new here, and this is your first episode, I'm essentially just using the same pattern to find accumulation distribution. Um, and I use that same pattern to find support resistance and to enter and exit all of my positions. And that pattern is pretty much just a head and shoulders or a Quasimodo level, whatever you want to call it. So we sweep out a low, break above the highs responsible for taking that low, retest and form the same pattern again. This is how I view accumulation. Um, right, and it's the same. For a bearish example, so we have a high, take the high, break below, retest, and form the same pattern again. Alright. So in a strong uptrend, if we see these patterns constantly printing, and then when we retest the pattern, and we form it again, and the structure just holds the entire way up, then you know that the bull trend is strong. So if we jump here onto the hourly... We'll start all the way back here. See, so we have a sweep of a level breaking above, retesting here. Sweep of a level breaking above, retesting. Okay, sweeping out this level, breaking above, no retest. But then we sweep below a level again, right here, break above. Now waiting on the retest. We are only uh, at Tuesday here, so the chance of this continuing up for the entire week is quite low. Um, however, it's not very often that we see the high of the week printed on a Monday or a Tuesday. So I think now that we are holding bullish structure and we're printing more bullish patterns, I think it's safe to say that we should be able to continue up at least until Wednesday, Thursday. Looking for a retest of this level on the lower time frames. If I can see the same pattern print, let's say on the five or 15 minute around London Open, then it should be good for a long. If we do break this low here, then I would expect these levels below to get tested. Okay, but the daily and H4 trend is still intact as long as we don't start to invalidate these levels and distribute. So invalidating the levels would mean breaking below. Distributing would mean breaking below and then forming the same pattern, but to the downside. More than one, okay? So we would need to form the pattern over and over to confirm that price is distributing, not just retracing. So for now though, I think for the next few days, we should see some upside with an easy retest there. ETH sitting right below all time highs. The chances of this just dropping off from here are quite low. We are seeing some distribution on, oh, some accumulation, sorry, on the lower time frames. So if we jump over to here, we have a sweep of this level breaking above, and then we retest right here. Now we do have another sweep right here. For the trend to continue on the hourly, I'd like to see a solid break above this level, followed by some reaccumulation on the lower time frames. If we get that, then we should be good to head into all time highs for the next few days. But obviously once we reach into the all time high, I would expect some kind of distribution at least. So just keeping that in mind. Um, if you are in from the bottom, so if you've entered ETH around 2K or even below and you haven't taken a decent amount of profit yet, you really should start to consider it. Okay, BNB. A lot of alt charts looking similar here. We've retraced pretty much this entire leg down, which I think is a good sign. Looking for reaccumulation here, so jump onto the hourly 
sweeping out these equal lows into this level here. So we are just using the same pattern over and over again to enter and exit to find accumulation distribution. And you can see it print. Every time we revisit support, if the support level is going to hold, then we print this level. Oh, then we print this pattern. So now we've seen another sweep just here. Zoom in a bit. Now looking for the same pattern again. Break above here, retest around London Open, and then continue up. We do have another sweep here as well. So if we can come down, retest the lower time frames, form the same pattern around London, then it should be good for a move up into 550. So this thing has no breaks. <laughs> like, I'm in from about $109. I missed the majority of the move, but in all honesty, I did not expect us to just keep going up like this. Um, we are in price discovery at the moment. So for all the other charts that I just showed you, we've had previous levels of distribution to look at when we're trying to um, pick targets. But because we don't have this for Seoul and for a lot of other coins that are headed into price discovery, what we need to do is similar how I explained uh, on Bitcoin that we need to wait for structure to break plus distribution to be able to say that the um, higher time frame trend is, is switching. We would need to see a similar thing on Sol. So obviously we're just going up here. There's absolutely no reason to suggest that um, that we're forming any kind of top and that we would need to see something like stagnant price action, a sweep, a break below, so a break in structure, followed by some obvious distribution. So here's our first confirmation. Here's our second confirmation. I would probably wait for another before even exiting my positions or assuming that price is ready to head down or temporarily um, see a decent size retracement. So even taking out all these equal lows yesterday, seeing a decent size rally, a perfect retest, and then seeing this level hold is extremely bullish. Okay, so when you think about this from like a technical standpoint, I guess, and we go over this in the strategy, how large players execute their orders, generate liquidity, and then mitigate the orders that they use to generate the liquidity. So here we have equal lows. Resting below these lows, we have a bunch of sell side liquidity. So if you're a larger player looking to enter long positions, you can't just smash the buy button. Okay, you need players entering in the opposite direction to ensure that you get your order filled at the most desirable price. Otherwise, if you try to smash the buy button, you're obviously gonna see a lot of slippage. Price is gonna head up higher before you get all of your position filled. So they need players in the other direction. So they push price into areas of liquidity. So we have equal lows here. Traders looking to sell as it breaks support or traders that have gone long here have their stop loss sitting right below because they think this is support. So here's the footprint that we're looking for. They push price below the levels, fill their orders and continue up. Now, if they push price below here, they needed to sell, right? Once price breaks up above this level, they still have their short orders that they used in this zone. Right here, why we see such a massive leg up is because they're letting go of the short orders, placing more buys and then letting price continue. This is how they're kind of efficiently managing their books and making sure that they're not offside. So there's that, a good little lesson. If you want to learn more about that, buy the strategy. The link is in the description. So step, this one is going to be huge. I'm not touching this position for another few weeks. Reaching down into the lows, obvious accumulation. And then again, accumulation all through these levels. Right here on the hourly, we see it. On the H4, we see it here on the retest. You can see right here, we have a sweep and a break above. 
and then here yesterday we saw another entry a decent drawdown but it's important to stick to the rules so swept out a low breaking above the high swept out a low breaking above the high retesting and again using the exact same concept that i explained on sol moving price below a low generating the, the liquidity push ugh, pushing price above and then moving price back down to this level so they can mitigate the short orders that they use to push price below letting go of their short orders buying more and then letting go of price so here we have the manipulation the confirmation and then the mitigation of their orders that they use to manipulate price and we continue up textbook srm and here's an entry okay so we have a sweep of all these levels a lot of liquidity generated which is the first sign that we are going to continue up okay but it's not enough so we break up above this high get a decent daily close and then again sweeping out a level breaking above the high that's responsible for taking that low now we can look to get long i think srm ray soul step they're just going to see another massive run there's no sign of any of these slowing down i think srm is about to catch up the soul all-time highs in the next few days to a week i'm thinking so i'm going to enter long when i finish this video uh, another thing i want to look at is sell so along with everything else a few months ago we saw a massive drop off but since then we've seen some accumulation so sweeping out oh, all of these lows here Breaking above the most obvious high is responsible for taking that low. And then once we return, we continue to accumulate. So sweeping out a low. Breaking above the high. Returning. Mitigating orders and forming the same pattern again. So entering, entering anywhere within this range is a solid play. I've already started scaling into my positions but if we do fall back down closer to a dollar 50 i'll scale them more I'm not touching anything at all to at least eight dollars um so how long has it been going for 12 minutes all right i'm gonna cut this here there's a lot of alpha dropped in this if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe if you're interested in the way that i trade or the way that i'm managing these positions analyzing the charts Click the link in the description below. Pick up a copy of the strategy. Show your support for these videos. No worries, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye.